Horses are on the track for race two at DuCoin, second half of the daily double, win, play, show, exact, away, drink, trotters, non-winners of two pair mutual races, or $5,000 life. No changes, number one, Little Red Vet, owned by Elizabeth Rutherford of Paw Paw, Michigan, Kathy Rutherford of Justice, Illinois, trained and driven by Kathy Rutherford. Number two is the 12-year-old mare, Honky Tonk Critter, owned by Adam Trent Mandrell of Pittsburgh, trained and driven by Dave Brown. Number three, Dwayne Dwayne, owned by Mike Titus, and John Hahn of Charleston, and by Stan Holsapple of Toledo, trained by Ray Hanna of Altamont, the driver is Dave McGee. Number four, Peppermint Maddie, owned by Bob Eilerman of Fenton, Missouri, trained by Clayton Collar, the driver Pat Malloy, Jr. Number five, Victory Binge, owned by James Longfellow of Carmel, Indiana, trained and driven by Dirk Simpson of Sherman. And number six, Promising Lady, is owned by Jeff and Coke Odor's Fulfer Creek Stable of Mason, trained by Kathleen Chick Keebler. The driver is Dale Heitman. Post time in less than five minutes, the track is fast. Here they come and Honky Tonk Critter is off stride. The rest are off and trotting. Dwayne Dwayne grabs the racetrack. Victory Binge comes away second. Promising Lady is third up on the far outside. Then Little Red Vet, Peppermint Maddie, and a long way back to Honky Tonk Critter, who made a break just before the start. Moving to the quarter, Dwayne Dwayne is on top by a length and a half. Victory Binge is second a length and a half. Then Promising Lady, who's in good position third. Two and a half more back to Little Red Vet, then Peppermint Maddie, and a gap of nearly 20 back to Honky Tonk Critter as they race by the opening quarter, 29 and 4 fifth seconds. Dwayne Dwayne is on top by one length as they hit the back stretch. Victory Binge in good position here in the early going in second after the opening three-eighths of a mile. Three more lengths to Promising Lady, another four to Little Red Vet. There goes Peppermint Maddie moving up on her outside, and there goes Victory Binge for the lead. Back up front, Victory Binge takes over by a length. Dwayne Dwayne now second by two. Promising Lady third a length and a half. Peppermint Maddie is next, then Little Red Vet and Honky Tonk Critter is still the distant trailer. They got the half in a minute. Victory Binge is on the lead by one length. Dwayne Dwayne second a length. Peppermint Maddie inching forward on the outside in third around Promising Lady, then Lil Red Vet and Honky Tonk Critter. Approaching the three-quarter mile mark, it is Victory Binge who leads it by some two lengths and is followed by Dwayne Dwayne in second. Peppermint Matty is still parked in third, moves up into second now on the outside. Promising Lady comes off the rail from fourth, then Lil Red Vet, Honky Tonk Critter is the trailer. They got the three quarters in 130 and four fifths. Victory Binge leads it by three parts of a length. Peppermint Maddie's been out a long way, but she's still there second and moving at the leader. Eighth of a mile to come. Two more lengths finds Dwayne Dwayne inside of Promising Lady fourth. Final eighth mile, Peppermint Maddie trotting a good trip so far. Gets the lead in deep stretch from Victory Binge. Here comes Dwayne Dwayne with a late charge. Then Promising Lady, Peppermint Maddie chased by Dwayne Dwayne. Peppermint Maddie, Dwayne Dwayne, Peppermint Maddie. And Dwayne Dwayne, that's a photo for the win. Two minutes and two fifths. It's also close for third, either Victory Binge or Promising Lady. There's the result of the photo on the infield board. Number four, Peppermint Matty was first. Number three, Dwayne Dwayne was second. Number five, Victory Binge was third. Number six, Promising Lady was fourth. It's unofficial. Bob Eilerman of Fenton, Missouri, is the owner of this four-year-old Valley Victor filly, number four, Peppermint Matty, bred by Denny Maxwell, trained by Clayton Collar, and driven by Pat Malloy, Jr. We told you that we like to recognize firsts at the DuCoin State Fair. This is the first driving victory at DuCoin at the State Fair ever for West Salem's Pat Malloy, Jr. Pat, congratulations. You Southern Illinois racing fans who are here today, how many of you remember when Pat's mom and dad, Pat and Verna, drove harness horses? You remember? I bet a number of you do. Yeah, Pat comes from a racing family and gives us our second straight upset to start the day. The 6-4 daily double, $48.40. The result is official. More in a moment. <laughs> 